Cut! Cut! Kaboom. Sorry. Welcome back to Former Lizards. Before we begin with this episode, I want to say that I that someone asked me if I had a Facebook or an Instagram account and well I have now so I really need to figure out how, it, how it's all working but because I'm a big noob in that case so yeah if you click here I guess then yeah you go to my Instagram so yeah let's see if it works yeah we'll see well anyway now for the big review last time I said I would go get a new animal and in a few hours I'm going over there to pick it up and as you can see behind me the big vivarium with the Aurora's Costa Rica's is gone and well that's where the new enclosure is coming what is it? yeah I'm going to say that soon it's well shh 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 sh sh damn just just it's no 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 not yet not yet wait 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 all right so yeah, I'm going over there now and yeah, when I get back, you will see what it is. See you in a couple of, well, seconds. Yeah. It's a bird cage. Exactly, it's a bird cage. For what? Okay, you're free, you're free. Meet Quibi, the green cheek conure. Hey, hi. I got it from a, from a friend of mine, he's immigrating to, how do you call it in English, to Curaçao, Curaçao, is that the good name, is that good English word, well anyway, he couldn't take his birds with him, so yeah, he had to, uh, he had to sell them, and well, that's very sad, but I was like, yeah, I really really love birds. I had birds in the past and I know how to care for them and she hey, hey. and well I was immediately in love with her. Yeah go 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 poop she crap I have to fix that one second I'm actually trying to train her potty train her she has to well go potty every 20 minutes or so so i will put a timer on 20 minutes and after 20 minutes i put her on something that i have built myself and yeah when she has she has food then well she can come over to me again so i really hope she will learn it in the few the next few weeks and I don't have to wear my crap, uh, well, crap sweater anymore because, well, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, well, it's full of crap. Yeah. Oh. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, say hi. Hi. Say hi. Like I said, her name is Queenie. <laughs> But, yeah, and now she's eating my camera. I don't know if I like that. Come here. Yeah. I knew for a few weeks that I would get her, so I have built something for her, which I will show you now. It's this thing, it's a bird playground. I. Don't know if that's in English the right word, but in the Netherlands we call it, uh, well, a bird playground. So, yeah, I have a pole over here with a rope that you can use. I have a little swing and a ladder and just something for her to climb on. She is always here when she's not on my shoulder. So yeah, I know she likes it. I have to make it a little bit better, but yeah, I will do that in the future because I really enjoy making this. So if you want a, tutor a tutorial on how to make these things, 
then tell me and I will make one. So yeah, let's go over to the cage. This is her cage at the moment. I have to put a, well something in here, but I have to clean it first. I have to clean the whole cage and then it's finished. And she has a little bit of toys. So, I bought the cage from my friend and it was like this. So she knows it's, it's her home. So I don't need to do anything about it. So yeah. So I'm not at home all the time. So when I'm leaving her alone, I have this little radio over here that I bought. And if I turn it on, there's some, well, some peaceful music coming out like this. So yeah, she will enjoy that, I hope. And well, when I brought her home, she immediately was going to my girlfriend because it's a little bit of a, of a woman bird, like he said. So yeah, she really lost my girlfriend. And so do I, by the way. But when we are both in the same room, she's always going over to her. Yeah. Step up. Good, good girl. She's, go she's always going to her. She really loves her. Yeah, go. So that's a good sign. But she's still my little bird. Yeah. It's really strange, by the way, how my channel is called Foma Lizards. But I only have like one lizard and far more amphibians, insects, and well, now birds. She doesn't fly a lot, just a little bit, but maybe it's because it's all new here. It's a whole new room. She probably misses her friend, where she's coming from. So that's understandable. So maybe she will fly in the future a bit more. We will see. She will be loose a lot of the time, even when I'm not at home. I just leave her here in, in my room, in my reptile room. So she cannot go near any of the animals. But if I see that my animals are getting stressed out then by her, then she probably goes to another room or she will be locked up when I'm not at home. But yeah, I really, really, really love her. She is so beautiful. Check out those colors. You see, she has a bit of red on her belly. And uh, yeah, now I cannot show you to the people. Come here. Come here, babe. Good. She has more red over here. Can you see it? Yeah. More red over here. Some blue and green. Well, <laughs> this is not going to work out. No, hey, no, don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Good girl, good girl. Yeah. So I'm going to clean up her enclosure. Oh, by the way, she also has an enclosure downstairs in the living room. So she can be with us all the time when we are at home. And when we have visitors, she can just go into, into that bird cage and still be with us without having to go to this room. I actually know that if you have a bird, it's like you have uh, you have a child of two, maybe three years old in your home all the time, like the next 30 years. She is now three years old, so she can still live like 27 years. That's a lot, So, but I know what I'm getting myself into. I always wanted a bird. I had, yeah, like I said, I had some birds in the past, but not any bird like this. So yeah, I'm really excited to, well, to spend a lot of my life with her. I, I love all my animals. I really, really do. But this girl, yeah, she is. She's so sweet, she likes to cuddle, she likes, she likes kisses, she likes to be with you and well, yeah, I once tried 
with a frog to, to cuddle it but yeah it didn't work out because he didn't like it so yeah all right then. let's clean up the cage and see if she still likes it and then I will show you the cage downstairs It's the only song I can whistle, but she likes it. This is the thing that I talked about for in the cage. You can see it has some poo on it, so I will clean it and I will put it back in there. So she feels at home a lot more. Well, this is going to be fun. Hmm. Alright then. So she immediately flew over to the cage and so I think this is the setup that she is used to in the last few years so yeah she will be at home that's probably the best I'm going to feed her now oh it's potty time well anyway I decided to Cut this video in half because it already takes uh, like 12 minutes and I want to do the birdcage downstairs in another video because I want to make some stuff for it because it's empty so I will do that in another video so yeah that's about it for today I hope you guys liked it I really 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 love my new bird and you will see her a lot more in the future because she will with me she will be with me all the time, well most of the time, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember I now finally have an Instagram account, I am going to use it, I will upload a picture every day I guess, so yeah let's see how that turns out, well yeah, see you guys next time, bye bye.